and I'm the first one enthusiast here. The flight is too early, like 7 in the morning, very, very business, so I'm in London, 7.55, and you know, guys, right, it's time, it's time to wash my hands, to put some sanitizer, and oh my god, the light is so full, or I look like crazy, and I already got into three awkward moments when I start filming, and people were like, what? this yellow bird and she also filming but i will put some music and i will wait until 10 minutes in 10 minutes the cafe is opening so i can get my coffee that's a good news and now i'm listening to whitney houston and this song like so i'm at the front having my orange juice so I think some vitamins will be good instead of coffee I decided to take and I also don't want uh, because I feel bloated when I drink cappuccino so I'll drink afterwards and there's no need because I'm going to sleep as well in my muesli So I'm in London at my sister-in-law place. I already just dolled up myself. This jumper and my yellow coat will be my first outfit of London Fashion Week. But for today I will be just yellow and green and I have my bag also green. So let's go guys. And I'm meeting a new friend. This is uh, the backstage of vlogging yeah. live. So how to make a perfect how flat to get lay? A perfect yeah, picture. and don't forget to bring this little monster, <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Just in case. <laughs> but make a picture for fun. <laughs> this is the best moment. So it's already two, and two. I just have my second coffee of the day. <sighs> So hey guys, just made it to Mulberry event and it's like I'll show you all the process of the new bag being made. So this is really fascinating because you can see actually all the behind the scenes. So we'll look at this. So this yeah. is the, um, where we cut the so, so we get the skins. Yeah. Um, they were marked with all the sort of like imperfections areas that can be used. Yeah. Um, and then so this one uh, cannot be used, right? Yeah, so everything inside here, as you can see, this is ah, a yeah, bit yeah, yeah. weaker and a bit sort of softer. Um, this here, you can see there's some, some, some damage. Yeah. Oh, wow. um, so yeah, we've cut the big part. The First, the selection of the leather. Two and a half months, rather than normal process, nine months. Yeah. And here you can make it for two hours, right? Like if you. bag. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, so yeah. obviously the tree. Is it like a heat stamp? Or? Yeah, it's uh, heat embossed, but you need air pressure. So, like, so we do that stamp as well. So the we made in England. Yeah. And also the. Um, so this is skived. So it takes the thickness out of the material. So that yeah. when that goes into the seat, it's not too thick and bulky. Oh, wow. So it makes it more refined. And this one, it's called a groove sky. So it's like a pin. On a, it's a blade with a pin and a foot that comes down. It, it gouges out leather. So then it yeah, creates it can a natural it, yeah. pivot like that. Oh, wow. So it sits, you can see on the bag, it sits like that. Oh. So yeah. Lap them together by nine mil. Yeah. Like that. So it's uh, equals like it's a flat one. Yeah. But normally you would put like uh, double sided tape. Down yeah, there, yeah, yeah. But not sustainable. So yeah. there's no tape. So they have to physically 
when they're stitching it. they have to hold it and stitch at the same time. It's quite tricky. Um, yeah, we're using recycled we're doing the development process before we make a leather one. Yeah, so they it's do like all the a pattern work and then do this so we can show designers. So the designers will look at it and say what they want to tweak before then going to leather. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, this one is so beautiful. So this beautiful. is the iris. So this is uh, Harrison there, developed this one. Yeah. So the first, the very first bag looks like this. Yeah. And then the designer put the leather and all the changes. Yeah, yeah you can see where the components go. The machine we use draws on the component tree. Yeah. And you got like the, the handle that goes on. So we had to work out how to do all this and make yeah, it look yeah. neat. So this is all hand stitched. Um, to hold on the end, so it cuts off the end. It's got a stiff rope inside. Yeah. Wow. You have to pop it through there. And what it does yeah. is smooths off the edges and also you try and give it more of a bevel rather than uh, yeah. very squared. Um, and when that process is done, it then goes on to this machine. So, of this one first. So this is what we call a base coat. Mm -hmm. So this is something that... The press together? I'm not doing it, you can do it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but this one's had the base coat on, but I'll show you. So that's just been base coated, yeah? Basically then, that will dry, Yeah. and then you can put the colour on. So I think what Becca's been doing is just finishing off the edges, yeah? Yeah. So this needs to be done after it's been stitched. Yeah. It's just a little bit of... Cover uh, up. Yeah, on the final, final stitch. Wow. And then that dries it, it's like an oven. Bon appetit! <laughs> and together. So this is the sustainable collection and it is made from the fish nets. So I love it. I'm just dreaming of this outfit. For this weather, it will be just perfect. So I off to my last show of today and this is my look. I'm wearing Burberry coat, but it's so cold. So I'm trying to do many layers like this hat to protect from rain and the scarf. So hope I'll survive. And let's go. So I made a show today. And it's already 8.30, so... the last show of today and I'm gonna pack just wanted to catch up with you guys because the wind is okay now and I'm walking in the night London like I'm living here so that's the main point of fashion week that basically you feel like the citizen of the world and this is so nice so I wanted to catch up with you and it's so cool about fashion week that uh, basically, you go so many times to different cities like Milan, Paris, London and you feel like natural, you feel like you're living there and it's so familiar, the places are familiar and you meet people 
uh, different people and all the citizens like back to the camp so yeah currently enjoying and this fashion week is no stress like normally I'm very stressed uh, having a lot of stress during fashion week but this time it's okay so yeah walking home hi guys I just wanted to catch up with you so basically the last video I was walking in the night London and enjoying seeing that no stress and it's a lovely fashion week but it happened to be a very stressful one and probably the worst that I experienced because I went to the airport and the last bit just it was awful I went to the airport and I waited for my flight my flight was delayed for two hours I waited and waited and then there was no update and it says it's on time but no internet no like online tableau nothing shows I went to the company asking uh, what what is it like what is the info what is update about my flight and they told me like oh you can see the gate very very soon and yeah just keep looking and you will fly is like scheduled soon so I looked at the gate and then when after like 30 minutes I updated their online um, schedule and it was gone and it was so shocking I couldn't believe it I came like why didn't you tell me when I asked you that the get the um, technical issues that the online screens are not working that the info is not updating and probably 40 minutes before he would know the information and it was just very incompetent so they asked me out i stand for hours in line for the flight connect connections trying to organize the next flight and just to understand what is with my baggage what is going on and just before my face just before four people and myself they just shut down the service and they told no rebooking uh, will be made just you know go and at that point I went to the toilet and just cried for a bit because I was so emotionally exhausted and I I just didn't know what to do and they were like you try to ask people but there's so many of other people and everyone is angry and they're like we can't help you just you don't know how to act in this situation however after crying I went and get the hotel so it's um, 11 in the evening I just made to the hotel and get luckily free dinner so that's that situation update now and we'll hope we'll pray to come back home tomorrow